he was wonderful to work with. When he was introduced to me, the first thing he said to me, the very first thing he said to me was, mm, I don't like the look of you. <laughs> and I said to him, no, and I don't like the look of you. And me and Peter were off from then. So there and was a kind of tension, sort of. Uh, there, was, there was a kind of tension because Peter was gladiatorial as an actor. Um, and you have to remember you had... Daniel Craig, Gina McKee, Mark Strong and myself, all at the beginning of our careers, all very opinionated, all very energised, but there was no more intense actor on that set than Peter Bourne. And I learned, and there's going to be a lot of things said, but I was thinking about Peter Bourne this morning on set because I learned more from him than any other actor I've worked with. He was so incredibly respectful of everybody on the set he would always say crossing camera when he was doing so out of respect to the cinematographer. And by doing that, he expected it in return. And if you didn't get it, he didn't get it. You knew about it. Um, he was he was um, he was just uh, I, I think it was interesting listening there that people say he endeared himself to the British public as an actor for his comedic roles, because to me. There was nothing comedic about what he did as Felix. There was great cheek to it, but it was it was a tragic performance, as was his performance in Remain to the Day. Yes, with... which we heard a bit of there, because, and I still remember watching Our Friends in the North and recalling the power of those later scenes when he, as your father, is struggling with dementia and there's this huge, powerful man who's become so weak. Mm. What did you make of the way he played that role? Well, if you watch the performance... It was the delicacy of what he did, the subtlety of what he did. Little things like obsessive um, gestures he would use rubbing the table. Now, what Peter did was he visited homes and he observed people. It wasn't obsessive. He didn't advertise the fact. He mentioned it to me because we were close. And then in later years, my father got dementia and I observed my father and I realized even more how brilliant Pete, what Peter had done was. But Peter had a, a fantastic, devilish sense of humor, you know. Um, and, of course, working right up... I mean, I saw an interview with him a few weeks ago where he said, you know, he was going to keep going. He was 93. He's a real actor's actor. Yes, yeah. Um, I believe that he, he was suffering for a few years from uh, macular degeneration, which, as I understand it, means you can only see sideways. And I was told, I don't know if this is true, Lilius will probably confirm it, Lilius, his wife, would read out his lines to him and he'd memorise them. They would take him to the set. And because with macular degeneration you can't tell that a person is suffering from blindness, he would, hit his, he would be put on his mark and he would deliver his performance. That's and it didn't wonderful. surprise me at all. Christopher Eccleston, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for speaking to us about working it's with an the honor. great thank Peter you. Vaughan. Thank you.